Aloha, everyone. This is Stephen Chudi coming to you from the University of Hawaii. Today, we're going to look at how to dig down into culture. Let's start with Actful's five C's, which are part of the World Readiness Standards and which are used to define our instructional goals in world language education. You will recall from Lesson 6 that one of the five C's is cultures, described as follows. Through the study of other languages, students gain a knowledge and understanding of the cultures that use that language and, in fact, cannot truly master the language until they have also mastered the cultural contexts in which the language occurs. The question then becomes how students are going to gain this knowledge and understanding. To expose students to the products and practices of the target culture is not the most difficult part of planning for cultural learning. Big C culture, products and practices such as literature, visual arts, performing arts and games, and even little c culture, behavioral standards such as how close it is appropriate to stand to another person or how to use appropriate politeness formulas when speaking, all of these things are observable and can be demonstrated to students. It's more challenging to provide students access to perspectives, which are the culturally guided habits of thinking that give rise to the observed products and practices. Perspectives are not easily observable, and they operate below the level of consciousness. This is why Edward T. Hall spoke of culture as a silent language. Moreover, although these perspectives operate throughout a cultural group, there's considerable variation in how individuals position themselves consciously or unconsciously with relation to what may, might be called the standard or default perspective in any given cultural community. The 21st Century Skills Map for World Languages, created through collaboration between ACTFL and the Partnership for 21st Century Skills, provides some tools for accessing cultural perspectives. Practices informed by the 21st Century Skills Map show us how approaches to learning culture in the language classroom has cha have changed. In the past, the textbook was the primary source of the curriculum. Today, we use thematic units and authentic resources. This makes it much easier to access culture as it is really experienced by the target uh, people who use the target language. Culture can be a theme that you approach in your class. In the past, language learning was confined to the classroom, and today we seek opportunities for learners to use language beyond the classroom. And what I'm going to tell you today will be one very good suggestion on how learners can use language beyond the classroom. In the past, students would turn in work only for the teacher. Today, we emphasize learners' creation of products to share and publish to audiences wider than just the teacher. And in the model I'll share with you today, that audience can include native speakers of the target language. In the past, isolated cultural facts and information were learned in a sort of trivia game approach uh, to cultural knowledge. Today, we're much more interested in students becoming aware of how perspectives give rise to certain practices and products of the culture, and the model I'll share with you today can help uh, your students figure that out. So the single most powerful tool for finding out for having access to these hidden perspectives of culture is comparison. And in Actful's five C's, comparisons is one of them. Through comparisons and contrasts with the language being studied, students develop insight into the nature of language and the concept of culture and realize that there are multiple ways of viewing the world. So the key to grasping the silent language of culture is to compare and contrast, but at the same time the things that we want to compare and contrast have been described as silent and hidden. Also, we're trying to perform comparison and contrast while we are situated inside one of the things that we want to compare and contrast, our own culture. I'm going to tell you about a project that's been running at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, for many years and provide you with a powerful tool that you can incorporate into your PBLL planning to help you and your students get deep into the culture and comparisons goals of the world readiness standards. This project is called Cultura and for many years it's provided a basis for third year French curricula at MIT that are built entirely around this tele telecollaborative exchange that is the heart and soul of Cultura. To find out more details about Cultura, you can visit the site shown on screen, cultura.mit.edu. 
the Cultura project at MIT helped shape the way we understand culture in language education now. Gilbert Furstenberg, Sabine Levé, and the late Shogi Warren laid out the Cultura framework. In this framework, they recognize that many of the cult cultural norms within which we live our lives operate beneath our level of conscious awareness, but can become visible through a process of contrasting cultural phenomena from two different cultures, for example, film remakes from different countries. Cultura places culture at the center of the curriculum as the primary object of learning, with language learning and use seen as a means to discover culture. and. They allow this knowledge to emerge from a process of reflection shared by speakers situated in two different cultures. In the original Cultura, these were the USA and France. The objectives of Cultura are multidimensional. Through the process of shared reflection, participants not only learn about target cultural norms that are brought to light in the discussion, but also language associated with those norms, and last but not least, they are shown what their own culture appears like from the perspective of others. In the words of Marcel Proust, to see the world through others' eyes. In the first step of a cultura-style exchange, after getting to know one another, learners meet online, outside of regular class time, and observe and record differences between objects from the two cultures in the exchange. I'm providing the example of milk, the way that it's typically sold in the US and in France. Please note the role that language plays in the original Cultura model, which, by the way, is not written in stone, but can be adapted to meet the needs of various kinds of exchanges. In Cultura as originally developed, learners from the two sides would engage in a bilingual discussion, and in this discussion each side would use its own first language, or perhaps we should say the dominant language of their own place. So the American students write their postings in English, and the French students write their postings in French. The online discussion is an out-of-class activity. When the class meets again, they use as much target language in class as possible to examine, clarify, and discuss what they've seen in the online postings from both sides. They may use a number of different tools in the classroom. The result is each side gains valuable linguistic input in the target language from the postings online and then focuses on understanding and processing that input, negotiating the meaning, you might say, during class. Many methods can be used to help students explore and use this language, and then finally they come up with questions that they prepare for the next forum when they're going to have it the next stage of their exchange with their partners. So that the, uh, during the next stage, when they're discussing further with their partners, they're testing their hypotheses, asking for more detail, and so forth. Then again, they return to class, and they summarize and discuss their findings using that uh, second language, using the target language, extending their findings into theories of cultural perspectives. The teacher can ask the students to put forth these theories and uh, explore the reasons for the cultural differences. We could ex uh, extend this comparison of milk bottles further into an examination of differences in farms or in children's diets, using these found differences between the milk bottles as a springboard to design further activities for the exchange. Now, when it comes to PBLL, when we think of the eight essential features of PBLL, we can see a good fit with Cultura uh, as a tool for investigating during a project since Cultura leaves room for all eight of these features. The exchange allows for in-depth inquiry by including at least two allotted forum exchange times with later sessions probing for more details and reasons. Critique and revision come in in the forums uh, and learners hypotheses about cultural differences are subjected to the scrutiny of their peers Finally, the whole structure of a cultura exchange is very much inquiry-based. Knowledge must be gathered and synthesized by the group, and so cultura is naturally reflective of 21st century competencies. Regarding significant content, today our examples centered around milk bottles, but this could have been just one part of an investigation of more significant content, such as patterns of nutrition in the two cultures. A public audience is the one essential PBLL feature that might require the most significant adjustment as it's not part of the original Cultura model. However,
it is possible to consider that each side in the exchange might produce as their project product a set of artistic or scholarly artifacts with the partner class as the public audience. The 21st Century Skills Map for World Languages mentioned earlier provides a number of examples on pages 17 and 18 of possible activities to help students develop social and cross-cultural skills using a 21st Century Skills Framework. We invite you to explore possible adaptations of these examples to bring them more into line with principles of PBLL and to make use of the Cultura model as a tool. We'll explore these further in our More to Consider and Get Involved sections in this lesson. As we move forward, we hope Cultura will prove a fun and useful tool for your implementation of project-based language learning. Aloha. Aloha.